Okay, folks, this is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin here. Welcome to another uh, Miami Midnight Session with Wesley, me and myself here. Hold on, guys, give me one second. Midnight, Miami. You guys act, so I'm here for you. Okay, hey, how are you? Guys, go ahead and put your names below. I'd love to give all of you a shout out here. Let's go. Okay, put your names below here. And if you can hear me clearly here, uh, go ahead and stay happy, Mia, how are you? Brazil's in the house, okay? Hey, where's everybody at around the planet? Let me get comfortable here. This is officially another millionaire Miami rat with Wesley Virgin Part 3 here. And I'm glad that you guys are joining here. I see all of you. Chris Bank, how are you? Jamie, how are you? Hey, make sure that you pull out your, your pencil, your pens, get something to write on. I'm going to be dropping some jewels here, some gems. And I would like to give you the opportunity to ask me questions, okay? And like I, you know, like I share, uh, I'm not a sophisticated man. <laughs> I'm really... Like, I am a Houston, Texas, born and raised on the south side. Uh, parents, they're pastors of a church. Uh, parents were never rich people. I didn't grow around opulence. I didn't grow up that way. And now I'm wealthy and I'm rich. And now I want to um, share that with the world. Some tools, some kids to give you, you the opportunity to talk with me, okay, or to ask questions about, to enable you to have a breakthrough, okay, hey Jason, how are you, Milwaukee in the house, Wisconsin, let's go, I'm doing well, Florida, Patrick, what's up baby, how are you, from India, so we have people all over the world here, um, and guys, if you don't mind, tag a couple of people here, you know, I do these videos because I want to give everybody the opportunity. Now, listen here, please. I want to give everybody who's interested the opportunity to converse with a millionaire. To con And maybe, you know, I'm not talking to you like one-on-one here, but I want you to imagine that I'm right there with you. Put your questions below, and I will look at your question. I will ask you anything about business, about mindset, about meditation, anything that you need to take yourself out of your situation to virtually put yourself in a better situation, I'm here for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. Do you believe in luck? Not really. I believe that we create our own luck. I don't believe people are unlucky unless they think that way, okay? Like some people truly believe that God actually created some people to be luckier than other people. And some people actually believe that some people are luckier than them. That is BS, okay? Listen, all lucky people understand this because I'm lucky, okay? Lucky people understand that they create their own luck, okay? The only reason why I'm lucky it's because I expect to be this way, okay? So, which means is when I want to do something, it usually happens in my favor. When I want to win something, it usually happens in my favor, okay? All right, hey, oh, okay, Scotland. No, I haven't been in Scotland yet. Holland, hey, invite me, guys. L listen to me here. If you want to invite me to your city, to your province, right, around the globe, Reach out to me, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to visit you. Um, I've been to over 40 countries, and I have approximately 130 more to visit. So please uh, invite me. You know, let's, let's break bread together. South Beach. Actually, I'm in Miami. Um, I have a, this is my second spot. So, so for everybody that doesn't know who I am, okay, if you don't know me, my name is Wesley Billion. Beep, 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 billion dollar virgin here. And I'm grateful, I'm blessed, I'm wealthy, I'm rich. 
And uh, I'm an internet marketer. I am an internet marketer, okay? And I've created millions of dollars of products and services online. And, you know, I've been blessed. You know, things are going very well in business right now. But not just that. I'm helping a lot of people like you succeed. I'm helping mothers succeed, men succeed, single moms succeed, couples succeed, older people succeed. We, we're helping so many people. I look at the numbers. We have over 100,000 people that we have the opportunity to serve here. And we're always open to serve. And we'll serve you as well if you allow us to do that. And that's why... I always reiterate the statement, all praises to the most high. God is the greatest, you know. Ah, man. I mean, I'm so grateful. You know, when I think about what I've been through, and I don't want this to turn into a Wesley Virgin testimony, but when I think back of all the trials and tribulations and all the challenges and all the the, the tough moments, you know, to get here, every day. Today, I'm so grateful to be here, okay? And not just for me and my family. I'm grateful to be on video here with you, that you can reach out to me, that I, that you know that I'm a real person. Look, I'm in my bed. I'm butt naked right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not naked. No, nah, but I'm in my bed here. I, I'm relaxed. You know, I was getting ready to do some work. And I said, well, let me do another Miami Midnight Millionaire rant for you. So, you can get some questions answered, okay? So listen close. Let's go ahead and get started here, okay? Your chest looks good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, put some oil on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so one thing before the video, I like to oil up a little bit. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. My skin naturally looks this way. It really does, okay? All right, here we go. How to control thought during meditation. Okay, so... The question is about meditation. How many of you are meditating right now? Okay. And how many of you have problems meditating? Because when you try to meditate, your thoughts seem to go everywhere. Okay. Let me show you what I have done. Let me show you what I did. And this was 10 years ago. Okay. When... um. I was broke, not destitute, but I was broke. And my mind used to wonder and think about other things despite the thing I wanted to think about. So this is what you do. When you meditate and when you're a beginner, focus on the breathing. Okay? Look at me. Focus on your breathing. All right? It's very important when it comes to meditation because understand the reason why we meditate. Meditate means to get familiar with. And you're getting familiar with yourself, okay? Your thoughts, right? You're getting familiar with um, the things that are happening on a very unconscious level, okay? Make sense? It's one thing to want something consciously, but it's another thing, which is your unconscious part of you, that is driving the bus, okay? Make sense? See, consciously, you want to be successful. Unconsciously, you don't know how, or maybe you're not worthy enough, or maybe you're not in the best country, or maybe you don't have a mentor. So your unconscious mind is what drives the bus, is the what controls our actions and our behaviors here, okay? So remember, write this down. When you meditate, as a beginner, I've been meditating for about eight years now. And now I can meditate to the point that I don't necessarily have to focus on my breathing anymore. Okay? But for all my newbies, do it with me. I want everybody right now to relax. Listen to my voice. And I want you to take a deep breath. And release... Right now, do it again. Now, I want your brain, I want you to focus on the breath like, focus on the air coming up through your nose. Try with me one more time, okay? Come on, let's go. (sighs) 
How do you feel? It's amazing how relaxed you can become by taking two deep breaths, right? That's powerful, right? And what you do is you keep doing that, right? You keep inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And your brain is thinking about the air coming through your nostrils and the carbon dioxide, um, the carbon dioxide releasing from your mouth. Okay, and you just keep doing that over and over and over again, and you'll find yourself getting more relaxed. You'll find yourself getting more peaceful. Okay, you'll find your body relaxing. It's very powerful how a deep breath, like most of us. We don't breathe properly. A lot of us, we breathe like this. And you wonder why you have an anxiety attack and you wonder why you have asthma and things of that sort. It's because we have not been taught to breathe from our bellies. Most of us, we breathe from our chest. Breathe from your stomach, which means it's when you inhale, inflate the stomach. When you exhale, Okay. Good question, by the way. Have you met a Scottish person? You know, I'm not so sure. I don't know. I don't think so. Next question for me here. Question for me. Shout out. A memorian was up. That's that's your shout out, my man. Do you have any breath this way through out the whole meditation? Because I only do five deep breaths. Yeah, that's fine, um, Sheena, or Sheena, wait, she no toward done, oh, she not order, oh, I'm sorry, she not ordinary, okay, I like that, uh, yeah, so, you do five deep breaths, yeah, that's fine, you know, I mean, the amount, it's not really, it doesn't, uh, it's not necessarily, like, how many deep breaths you do, it's just that when you do your deep breaths, you focus your conscious mind on the breath, okay? Because that will keep you in the state of in the present, right? What happens with a lot of people when they're beginner meditators here is they tend to think about the past and the present. I mean, the past and the future. But what you want to do is practice to focus on the now. And to do that, focus on the breathing, okay? Over and over again. Just keep breathing. Focus on the breath Coming in, breath coming out, coming in, coming out. And you just keep doing that for about 5, 10, 20 minutes, okay? And guys, if you can hear me, hit the like button. Got to make sure sometimes my phone is not working properly here. So hit the like button for me if you don't mind. If you can hear me clearly, hit the like button for me, okay? Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Do you still recommend ClickBank even... Uh, though you're using Digistore. Um, you know, ClickBank is a is a great merchant processor, but we're on Digistore now. I, I my product's on Digistore. Uh, I recommend Digistore because my product is there and I will teach you. ClickBank, I, I'm not sure that you have anybody there that's gonna teach you how to do internet marketing, okay? And I'm number one right now on the Digistore platform, so that gives you an opportunity to work with me and my team so we can kind of fast pace you into the money, okay? And that's what I do. Listen, I help people make money. That's it, period. Like, if you don't want to make money, you don't want to listen to Wesley Virgin. This is what I do. I do it very well. I've helped plenty of people earn their first million. Uh, I've helped a ton of people make $100,000 a year. So this is what I do well. Uh, I just know how to help people make money, okay? That's my expertise. That's my core competency. All right, how do you help people making money because I want to? How do you help people make money? Um, By selling internet products. Do you still... Okay, next question here. What is your thoughts on yoga nadaria? I don't know who that is. I don't know, my man. I'm sorry. Wes, what do you do when you are empty and you have nothing to produce? Well, um, I think that you're being unfair to yourself, actually. Um, I don't believe that you're empty. When you say that you're empty, what does that mean, that you're empty? Like you're not a 
You're, you're not a bottle of water, right? A bottle of water can be empty. Uh, a bottle of soda pop can be empty. But I don't think a human being can be empty because if you were empty, you would be dead, right? If you were empty of blood, you'd be dead. So you're, first of all, um, the language that you're using is very poor, okay? So second of all, you're not empty. Third of all, you do have something to produce. You just haven't thought about it yet. You haven't thought hard enough or you haven't thought in a way of what can I do to produce value to the marketplace. And the marketplace is the world. So let me give you a, a tip here on TBIEG, Jay. Um, you're valuable. Okay. You are valuable. And I'm sure it's something in you, if you think about it, that you can use to give value to the marketplace. Okay. Remember, it all starts with your thinking. This is what's very important about, especially when you're trying to provide value to the planet. Uh, it's all about giving value. Okay. And if you don't know what type of value to give, you think about it. You say, well, if I was able to give value to the marketplace, what would that value look like? Right? The power of questions is very powerful when it comes to or as it relates to discovering more of what you're capable of. See, a lot of questions right now, a lot of you are like this young man. You feel that you don't know what you will give to the world. You don't know what type of product you will create. You don't know what type of value. But just because you don't know today doesn't mean there's not something in you right now that's valuable that you can share to the marketplace. The world. Something that you will sell. Make sense? Okay, next question. Let's link up, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's the link. But the phone is breaking up sometimes. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's the cheap phone. I have a cheap iPhone here. I'm making all this money. I need to buy myself a new phone, right? Do you have to do your meditation in any position? So, like, you see this bed right here? I mean, I do it right here, you know? I mean, I can give you an example of what I do. You want to see? Watch. This is what I do. When I'm in bed, sleep, and I wake up, I do this. I put my pillow behind me. Like, kind of support my back here. And, um... And I do that for 20 minutes, to be honest with you. Like, I have a nice meditation that I listen to. You can go to overnightmillionaire.net if you want that meditation for free. But this is a meditation I've been using for years. And I meditate for 20 minutes, and I'm done. I do that first thing in the morning. Like, I don't check my laptop. I don't check my iPhone. Uh, first thing I do, I'm grateful to God, grateful to the universe, Grateful to you. And um, then I start to meditate. Okay? All right. So, no, you don't need to be in any type of particular position. I would say put yourself in a position that you don't go to sleep. Like, don't lay down and meditate because you might fall asleep. And if you find yourself, even when you sit up, some people like to lean their heads back. Don't do that. Have your head upright like this. Make sense? It'll prevent you from going to sleep, okay? What is some advice you can tell younger teens? Yeah, young people. And this is the, the advice that I typically give to everybody as teenagers. Hey, if you're a teenager, put your age below. I'm curious to see how many young teenagers that uh, listen and follow Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin here because I'm an advocate for you. I am. Like, I'm on your team, okay? Believe it or not. Because believe it, I'm a misfit. <laughs> like I am, I'm a, I'm a savage. 
I'm wild, okay, a little bit here. And, you know, sometimes when you're trying to be yourself, you know, you have other people on the planet that's trying to tell you that you shouldn't be yourself. And, you know, as long as you're not hurting people, it's okay to be yourself. You know, you can be that funny, silly, weird person. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Most people that talk about people that are a little bit weird, silly, crazy, well, they wish they had the guts to be that way, okay? So for all my young teenagers, put your ages below. Listen to these words. And I say this from the top of my heart. I swear to God. Listen to me. If I was 12 years old, if I was 13, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old right now, I would say, Wesley, don't fuck around. Okay? Like, don't fuck around. I'm just be honest with you. Like, let me tell you. Let me go ahead and predict a lot of your, like, I, I know something about you. All my teenagers, watch this up. Most of you teenagers, you spend too much time on the cell phone, talking to your friend, texting your friend. A lot of you young boys, you spend too much time on the video games, right? I'm still trying to pull my son off the video game. It's too much time on the video game, right? A lot of you young people, you spend too much time in boredom. Oh, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Let me watch a TikTok for the next five hours. Well, that's fucking around because see, what's going to happen is eventually you're going to have to play this game called life. And a, a lot of you, unfortunately, you're going to play that game. You're going to lose. And not because you can't win. It's because you're fucking around too much in your teenage years because you believe that you're just a kid, right? You know, I hear this with young people. I'm just a teenager. I'm just a kid. I'm just a this. I'm just a that, right? <laughs> and it's so funny. You're a kid. You're a teenager when it's convenient for you. When it's time for you to take responsibility, right? Or when it's time for you to do something that adults do, you want to do it, right? I'm grown, right? <laughs> So what I'm saying is this, don't fuck around. So look at, this is all I want you to do. And let me make this very practical. I want all my teenagers to think about all your friends right now. Okay. I want you to think about all your best friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your boys, your girls, your sister friend, best friend, sister friend. And this is what I want you to do. Now, this is going to hurt. And it's going to sting a little bit, but it's the truth. I want you to think about all your friends that you text every day, spend hours on the phone talking about nothing. And I want you to do the opposite. Okay. Does that make sense? I want you to do the opposite of them. Like if they're paying video games, you read books. Okay. And I know what you're thinking. Reading books is boring. Yes. I thought the same thing as well. And guess what? The more I didn't read the book. The broker I became. All right. Listen, when you're a teenager, it's cool to be broke because, well, you stand with your parents and I understand somebody else is providing for you. But in your 20s and 30s, it's not cute to be broke. It is not. It is. It is so unattractive. OK, to be broke and struggling in your 20s in your 30s, if you're struggling Okay, financially, that's pathetic. Okay, I'm just to be honest with you, it's pathetic. Like if you're 30 years old right now and you're still struggling financially, that's pathetic. Now, if you're 40, if you're 40 and you still haven't figured out the money game, you need to be chastised. Like I need to pull off my belt and I need to beat you with it. Okay. Could you just screw it up? So all my young people, remember, and even if you do it or not, a lot of you young people, you're not going to do it. I know. You know, oh, I love them. They're my friend. They're my friend. <laughs> Listen, friends don't pay bills. Friends, they don't pay your cell phone bill, right? Friends don't feed you. Friends is not going to pay your college fund. Friends are not going to pay your house note, your apartment note. You know, friends is not going to buy you clothes, shoes, right? These friends are not going to do anything for you, okay? 
So you can either take my advice or just let life show you. You know, most of you, you're going to let life, it's going to show you what it really is. Okay. But what I'm telling you, do the opposite. Read books. Okay. Even if you don't like to read, learn to like it. Okay. Um, take action on something. A lot of you young people don't know what you want to do. It, it's it, That's not an excuse for you not to do nothing. Okay. Just because you don't know what to do with your life. I tell my son all the time. Just because you don't know what you want to do. Doesn't mean that you can't consider and think about. Okay. What do I want to do? More importantly. What would I like to do? Just ask yourself the question. You might not get the answer tonight or today or this morning. But at least Pose the question to yourself. Don't wait till you're 21, 31 and say, you know what? I want to go back to school, but I'm 50 years old. Hey, it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with going to school at the age of 50. It's almost like a person that's 40 years old and decides to get braces. I, I don't know. It's kind of true. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you can make the decision right now. Okay. You don't have to wait. Make those decisions now what you want to do with your life, okay? Is that good advice? Give me a thumbs up. Love you, Wesley. I love you as well. I want to work with you, Wesley. Do you want to work with me doing what? Uh, what's up, Gayla? How are you? You will make your first million. I believe in you. Okay. Who is successful and how do I know they are successful? What are you talking about? Be more clear. Since you were talking about meditation... Have you heard of Wim Hof breathing? Te- yeah, I've heard about that. Um, I've never done it. I've never met Wim Hof. Uh, I'm sure it works, I guess, but I, I, didn't, I didn't find it necessary to do it, actually. But let me know if you try it, you know. Pepsi or Coke, which one do you like better? None. Single dad looking to advance in this field. Okay, great. Hey, go to my bio up there or in the link below if I save this video here. And you can grab all my content here. Two things. If you absolutely have no money, go to my YouTube channel. Watch my videos for free. I teach about mindset. I teach internet marketing for free. Now, if you want to be an advanced person, you want to be a person that takes a leap of faith, um, I have products. Go to my bio. I suggest start with the overnight millionaire. Now, because it's called overnight millionaire doesn't mean that you're going to become an overnight millionaire. The reason why I created that name, a lot of people ask me, Wesley, why did you create overnight millionaire? Even the name itself. Because when I made my first million, a lot of people, it came, it, it, it sort of came out of nowhere, right? No one knew who I was. Then all of a sudden I create a product and now I am the big, man on canvas, right? I'm the guy, right? So, um, you know, a lot of people used to call me an overnight millionaire. Oh, where's that overnight millionaire? And they was saying in a very facetious way that was trying to make fun, right? Saying that I'm not going to be rich for long, but it's been about seven years now. This year we'll do $50 million. So I think I'm on track here. Okay. All right. Can I still test my traffic on YouTube? Yes. Can you help me? Yes. Help you do what specifically? Uh, like how to make your teeth whitening. Okay. Can I make money? Yes. Wesley, can you seduce any woman you want? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you guys seen my mass control video with my Thailand assistant Nancy here. Um, so one thing about me that you guys need to know, I am a master influencer, which means is I have learned a set of skills. Okay. I sound like the guy in Taken. I've learned a set of skills. If you don't let my daughter go, I will come to you and I will find you and I will kill you. No, but seriously, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a master influencer. I know how to influence people. Okay. And I know how to get people to do what I want them to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, even you want people to do what you want, but you just lack the skill. But in mass control, I created this program and I was very skeptical and I was very reluctant to create it. 
and share it to the world because you can, you can do a lot of evil with that program. Okay. I mean, controlling people are, uh, you know, let's don't use the word control. Uh, navigating people to where you want them to go. Their mind, their thinking, their behavior, their actions. So this is real. It happens. And I teach this in the program because I think people need to have this ability. They need to have the skill to be very successful in business. Some people have it unconsciously. Like my children, they have it unconsciously because they're always around me. So they uh, fortunately use these skills with people. And that's why people like them a lot. Like they, they're loved. It's because they are using these skills that I use um, every day. You know, Not just on you, right? Uh, I use it when I go to the grocery store or if I go to the gym. I'm always using these skills and... They're very simple skills. It's nothing like it's nothing like esoteric or it's nothing magical. These are just basic things that the average human being doesn't do. I give you one, like smile. Like the average human being doesn't smile at all. Right? <laughs> and and it's cool if your teeth are not straight or maybe you have bad breath, but you know, the average person just doesn't Put a smile on their face now at all, but it's very influential. Like right now, I'm pretty sure you get more excited now when I put a smile on my face, right? Watch this. You feel better now, right? Exactly. It's just something about a smile. It's infectious. It makes you feel good. It's very influential. When people feel good about you, they tend to listen and do whatever you want them to do. Right. I mean, morally, ethical, ethically as well. Right? Of course. All right. Let me scroll down here. All right. Here we go. Um, can I talk to you on the phone? Uh, no, I don't. I don't really talk to people on the phone like that. I'm a nice young lady. <laughs> That's my Denzel ass. Uh, well, yeah, I'm sure you are, but. I don't typically talk on the phone to anyone, actually, aside from my children and my mom. Wesley, what would you do at 16 years old, stuck with your broke mom, living in a hotel with nothing? Um, I guess the first thing I would do is get a job, okay? And while I'm working at the job, I would start... Um, I need my charger, folks. Uh, I will create an internet company. Oh. I will cre- I will create a um a YouTube channel, and I will become an affiliate, and I will start promoting products. Give me one second, folks. I need to put my charger on real quickly here. My apologies. Okay, we good to go. Can everybody hear me? Good contents for promoting your product. What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Where can I find this program? Yeah, just go to, um, if you guys are interested in mass control, you can go to the webinar where I do a two-hour training on 25 psychological techniques that basically just um, allows people like you. I just got to cut, so I'm checking it out here. Shout out to my guy, Luis. Rivera, Rivera. He cuts for Nikki Jam as well. He did a good job, huh? Um, what was I saying here? Yeah, go to masscontrolsystems.com and check it out. That's M A S Q U E systems.com. Okay. What books would you recommend? Thinking Grow Rich, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself, Richest Man of Babylon, um, Poor Dad, Rich Dad. Great books there. Sir, I need some advice. Can we talk in private? No, we can talk right here. Okay? Right here. I love you, Wesley. Oh, I love you too. You look, oh, wow, Joseph, man. That's negative, brother. All right. I got to kick you out, but see you. You know, I mean, 
I'm always open to do these um, these lives here and to allow people who really want to uh, have some conversation with a, a rich guy, right, which is myself. But I, I'm not going to put up with and I'm not going to tolerate pessimism, negativity or insults. So if that's you, just go ahead and leave the video and follow me as well. Um, I'm honestly, I want to help people. Okay, and to do that, you know, to be able to do that, one, I got to be transparent too. Um, I got to share some time with you, like I'm doing right now. But I'm not going to tolerate any insults. Uh, I'm not going to tolerate any negative language. Okay, make sense. All right, here we go. Repeat the books, please. First book, Think and Grow Rich by, Na by Napoleon Hill. Okay, two, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. That was the first personal development book I've ever read Um, when I first started reading. That was the first book. Before that, you couldn't find me around a library at all. Okay. Richest Man of Babylon by George Clayson. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Um, Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Okay. All right. Next person here. Here we go. What's one sentence would you use to sell a toothbrush? One sentence? Um... It will make your teeth white. <laughs> I, mean, I have no clue, my man. What do you think about when you meditate? So, yeah, Brian, you know, when I meditate, sometimes I visualize and sometimes I just focus on my breathing, right? I don't do anything. Remember, it's not, it's not mandatory that you always visualize something when you meditate. Okay. You don't have to always visualize something. Like some people are like, well, I'm trying to visualize it. I can't listen. Sometimes you just need to focus on your breathing because listen, it's just like moving into a brand new house. Okay. Now I'm renting this. So the people that live here, if I would have put my things in here when their things were here, it would have been a cluster. Okay, so for me to properly move in, they have to move out. Makes sense. They mean they have to move their stuff out. So when you're meditating, sometimes you, you guys are trying to introduce new desires and new intentions. But sometimes you need to clean and to eliminate some of that old baggage. Right. Some of that old furniture, those old thoughts that's in your mind. So just focus on the breathing. Right. Practice doing that. So all those negative, pessimistic, disempowering thoughts will start to disseminate. OK, start to diminish here. Wes, I just joined two of your programs. Hey, congratulations. And congratulations to everybody that has the overnight millionaire. Congratulations to everybody right now who have done for your services. Listen, you are the 1%, you know, because unfortunately 99% of people, they're just going to play around, right? They're going to buy a product. They're not going to use it. Or most people are going to be too cautious or too skeptical to just to jump and take a leap of faith. So I'm proud of you. Um, I appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to serving you. Okay. How many, how many businesses do you currently have? 12. 12 streams of income. All online. Well, I have real estate as well, so that's 13. Now let's go. All right. See the end results. Here we go. When is your next seminar? I'm not sure yet, actually. Not sure. Not sure. Soon. Can you say control system thing one more time, please? So maskcontrolsystem.com. M A S Q U E mask control. Okay. Systems.com. Western, can the dump you service add my Aweber to my landing page? 
Um, I don't think we do that actually. That's an upcharge. That's an upsell. Okay, we don't actually connect the Aweber to the Dunfuse services unless you bought the upsell. Just bought your package yesterday, my man. Thank you so much, Alex Hernandez. Would you ever be a sugar daddy? Uh, yeah, no. No, for what? Why do I need to be a sugar daddy? I mean, uh, I'm a smart guy. I'm an intelligent guy. And um, I'm pretty, pretty good looking guy as well, right? <laughs> Give me a like button. Ladies, let's just, just do a poll here. Ladies, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Ladies, if I'm a pretty decent, attractive guy, that you will consider dating. Hit the like button right now. Let's see how many likes I can get from all the ladies out there if they would date me, okay? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Well, Wesley, you're probably an asshole. Well, and I'm both. Hit that like button. Well, okay, I didn't get that many likes, so okay, here they go. All right, they're coming through right there. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, sugar daddy? No, I don't think so. I don't need to be a sugar daddy to any female on the planet here. All right, question for me. I love you guys. Like I said, I will answer any question that you guys have, ladies, gentlemen, whatever you want. I'm here for you. It's 1236 a.m. in the morning. I could be asleep, but I'd rather spend my time with you, okay? I don't need anyone's opinion. I'll date them. Thank you, Maria. See, Maria says she'll date me. Awesome. <laughs> Hey, Wesley, uh, I've blown several accounts trying to trade Forex. Guess I had a bad foundation. Can you help me succeed by starting fresh? Yeah, man, make sure you get the Overnight Millionaire Program. See, one thing that I want all of you to understand is this. If your mind is not properly conditioned to be successful, then everything that you do, like Forex, internet marketing, network marketing, any business, it won't work out in your favor because um, you got to have a certain type of mindset because when you start it, unfortunately, things are not going to work out the way that you that you want them to work out. And, I'll, and many of you, you just quit. You give up. You're throwing the towel there. And what I'm sharing with you is this, that if without the proper foundation, okay, without the proper mindset, it's almost impossible to succeed on a high level, okay? It's almost impossible. And and that's what I speak about in the overnight millionaire program here, okay? That uh that's that I offer online. And you know, go to YouTube and type in overnight millionaire reviews, you know. Listen to a couple, a few of the testimonies. We have hundreds of testimonials of people just like you that are getting breakthroughs. But guess what? You know, if you don't want to get it, don't. If you do, I love to serve you. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I love you. You can be my daddy. All right. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, I got a lot of kids already. I don't know. I don't know if I can be anybody's daddy right now. My princess will get upset. She don't play. <laughs> My baby said that I can't have any more girls because she wants to be the number one girl in my life, right? Yeah, she says she's going to be upset. Could you have some 12 minutes that you have? Could you name all of them? Um, Fat Diminisher. Um, Red Smoothie Detox, Overnight Millionaire, Done For You Services, Affiliate Profits From Home, Wealth Visuals, Online Millionaire Mastery. Um, I have a outside partnership. I have email lists, several email lists that I make money on. I have a, a protein product that I make money off of. I have a green source powder product that I make money off of. So how many so far? Yeah, we have a lot of companies out there. That I run on a daily basis here. All right. <laughs> yeah, these people are funny, aren't they? How long will I start making money on an overnight millionaire? Um, I don't know how long. It can be tomorrow or it can be in a year. I'm not sure. It depends on your effort. Okay. Question. Thoughts on Gary Vee? 
I think Gary Vee is great. Uh, I've never met the guy personally, but, you know, he has a lot of energy just like me, and um, he's definitely very successful in what he does. And one thing I like about Gary Vee, he's very passionate about what he believes in. Um, I don't necessarily really listen to him and follow him, and not because I don't like the guy. I just, I, I don't know. I just have a lot going on in life, I guess, right? But uh, anybody, listen, just like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, I don't really listen to these guys too much, actually. Um, but uh, anybody that is a positive influence on the planet, they can be friends with me. Anybody that's trying to make the world a better place, using their own artistry, using their own skill level, their own type of delivery, hey, thumbs up. That's a friend of mine, right? There's a lot of people out there that's trying to do a lot of good. And, you know, when you try to do good, sometimes some people, they found a way to, um, you know, distort that message. Um, but um, I think they're all great guys. Gary Vee's a great guy. Much love to Gary Vee. How are your protein powder? I don't understand the question, actually. All right, questions for me here. I think you stay near Grant Cardone. Oh, okay, really? I stay in the Porsche Tower building here. I'm not sure where he lives, actually. Thoughts on cyber cybernetics? Yeah, get the book. It's a great book. Are you on a specific food diet? You, do you believe foods affect the mind? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, eat. Like what I do, I have a shelf that's in Miami as well. And she brings me fresh juices every day. I'm not every day, but she brings it three times a week so I can drink throughout the week. Okay. Um, but fruits, vegetables, nuts, these are good brain foods. Okay. What's important is put things into, now listen, put food into your body as if you're putting gas into your car. Okay. Like I drive a Lamborghini. I could put 83 octane in the Lamborghini, but I won't. Okay. It'll work. I mean, 88 octane, I believe. Like it'll work, but it won't run efficiently if I put 93 octane in there, right? So I'll put the best gas in my tank to make sure that it runs at its best. So the same thing with your body. If you put piss poor food in your body, you're probably going to have a piss poor life or you're going to feel piss poorly. Okay, I feel good every day, all day. Okay. All right. Question for me here. Um, you said you have a cheap phone, but you have a lot of cars. How could you save in money? Um, well, actually, the phone is not cheap. I was just, it was a joke. <laughs> you guys take everything literally, huh? Uh, what advice would you give me? I found out I have cancer. I lost my job and I recently started Forex and I'm struggling like giving up. Well, one thing about you, hey, let me tell you something. I love you. And listen, cancer does not have you. You have cancer. And what I'm saying is this, I don't want you, I understand, I'm no doctor, and I understand um, that, okay, maybe the doctor says that you have cancer, but just because a doctor has diagnosed you with cancer, his diagnosis doesn't have to be your prognosis, which means that you don't have to keep thinking that you have cancer, right? I would believe right now, I'm going to manifest right now in your life that you're healed, that you're blessed that every limb, every part on your body is healed right now. Right now you're healed. Which means is you don't need to be sad. You don't need to be disappointed. There's no need to be depressed or hurt or feel any pain right now because you're delivered. And guess what? If you receive these words and you believe that you are delivered, I want you to act as if you're delivered today. And see, the thing is, young lady, I want you to live your life starting tomorrow morning as if you don't have cancer. I want you to do everything that you did before they told you this very interesting news. Okay. Next question for me. Uh, 
<laughs> Do you use binaural beats uh, music while meditating? Um, no, not recently. No, I don't actually. What are the what are you what? He shook. I leave him there. All right, here we go. What is the online business that requires less than two arms and a leg for capital? What? <laughs> oh, my God, brother. Bring fast returns and use earnings to put back into the business. Um, The overnight millionaire. I mean, you can go to the digital store right now and, you know, and you can just promote my product. I mean, we have a ton of people that's making a lot of money right now. I mean, it's just the truth. Ton of, you can go on YouTube and search these people. How to be a great salesperson. Um, that's a good question. How to become a great salesperson. Okay. So one thing about influence. Let me give you guys a lesson in influence here. I call this the 3i model. Write this down. Three I's. When it comes to influence, this is what we focus on. Our persuasion. Identity. Influence and intelligence. Our influence, identity, um, intelligence. So a lot of you, you focus too much on influence. You're trying to get people to do what you want them to do, right? So when you're trying to sell something, you're trying to convince a person to buy your product, okay? You're trying to use techniques, and it's a lot of techniques out there that use their their very great techniques and they work very well to convince people to buy from you. But listen, I'm gonna have to let you guys go. My battery power is about to be dead here. Um identity. Who are you? See, when you understand who you are and you know the type of person you want to become, you don't need much influence. Make sense? Like right now, <clears throat> I, I'm not using any techniques on anybody to get you to listen to me, to buy my stuff, to believe in me now. I'm not using anything. But I know who I am. Like I'm a multimillionaire. I'm a powerful person. I'm a God. Right? So since I think of myself that way, people tend to listen to me. It's only because that's how I identify myself to be. Like I identify myself as a God. Right? Right? which means powerful. I'm a creator, right? So just being that way, people tend to listen. And the last thing is intelligence. Intelligence is this, is you need to get knowledge. You know, if you want to get people to buy your product, you need to be more intelligent about the topic than other people. One thing about me, you're going to notice when I do interviews around the world, I will not talk about a topic that I know nothing about. Like I would not entertain a conversation that I don't know anything about. I would just say, I don't know. Like I'm okay with saying that. Like, I don't know. Like if I don't know, I would just say, I don't know. And it's a lot of topics on the planet, which I have no clue about. And I'm not interested actually. Okay. So yeah, remember the three I motto when it comes to salesmanship or to getting people to do what you want by your product, Identity, intelligence, influence. Focus more on identity. Focus on who you're trying to be. What type of person you're trying to become. Because based off that, um, influence will come naturally. Okay? Good night. All right, guys. Hey, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, maybe I will post this live on my Instagram page here. Um, shoot, shout out to your girl. What's up, Lay? Lay Janae. Uh, if you guys don't mind, if you got any value, comment the words, I got value here tonight. Like it, share it if you can as well. Tag a couple of people. You don't have to tag people, but if you do, I appreciate that. Um, you know, this is not scripted. This is just some... Uh, Midnight Miami Millionaire Rant with a multi-millionaire here. Just to let you know that, uh, yes, I have a ton of money in my bank account. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a regular guy. You know, I'm a guy just like 
most of you guys, like I'm a person or I'm a human being. And um, I want to just share some things with my from my heart. I want to be able to answer some questions. And just to let you know from my transparency um, that you can have what I have. As a matter of fact, you can have more. Okay. But I just want to tell you this. You can do it. Don't give up. Keep believing in yourself. Good night. Love you guys so much. Let's go.